Hi everyone and welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome and if you're a returning supporter, thank you. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you're notified each time that I post. In today's video, I want to talk about postpartum hair care do's and don'ts. So I have experienced postpartum hair twice in the last four years and it's not a good experience. It's not a good thing to have to go through, right? So, but from experience, I like to share what I did that I shouldn't have done and what I sh probably should have done. And so I just want to share that with whoever else is going through postpartum and needs these tips. There are a lot of things that we neglect after having babies. As mothers, we neglect ourselves the most. So we stop doing the things that we used to do before baby and in turn that really takes a toll and affects us and how we feel about ourselves. One thing for me and this is kind of the reason why I was away for so long. I took a break for three and a half years from creating videos because I didn't feel like my hair was healthy after having my babies. My hair started to shed. My hair was not moisturized, it felt dry, and that's because I was neglecting my hair. I was neglecting my hair routine. I was neglecting my hair at wash day. I was postponing wash day. Um, just doing all the things that I should not have done, and I didn't feel my best. I didn't feel like my hair was healthy. I didn't want to do videos. I didn't want to be in front of the camera feeling like feeling like I wasn't looking my best. My hair is a hair channel. I didn't want to come on here feeling like my hair looks a hot mess and talking about, you know, hair care. <laughs> so I took a break. So the health of my hair really did decline. And so I'm here to tell you what to do, what not to do. So let's get started. Don't skip steps in your hair routine. <clears throat> so for me, I tried to start skipping steps in my hair routine. I thought it was just going to make it easier for me to maintain my day-to-day -day routine with the little ones. And in turn, it didn't it it just didn't do it was not good for my hair. So I stopped conditioning my hair just so that my wash day routine could go quicker. And I could already tell that my hair was less moisturized. It was just not as healthy as it was when I was conditioning and I felt like because I was still deep conditioning I was getting enough moisture to the hair but I really wasn't so that's one thing you should not do what you should do is maybe shorten your routine a little bit so if you are washing your hair conditioning and deep conditioning maybe shorten your deep conditioning time so instead of deep conditioning for an hour deep condition for a half an hour. Um, so that way your hair is still getting the benefits and it maintains its moisture and remains healthy. Don't rush through your hair routine. Um, don't ru rush through wash day. Don't rush through your detangling. So this is gonna cause more harm than good to your hair. When you're detangling, if you're rushing through detangling and you're being, uh, you know, quick and rough with your hair, you're gonna cause, you're gonna cause your hair to break. Your hair is going to shed more. It's gonna break, and it's just not good for your hair at all. So instead of rushing through it, find something that makes it easier. Find a conditioner, a detangler. Anything that's going to make your detangling process easier and your hair more manageable during the process, do that. But don't rush through it. Okay, so a lot of us deal with postpartum shedding and it's not a fun thing to go through at all. So you start, your edges start to bald. Sometimes you start to shed in other places, but it's mainly around your edges. So they start to like fall out and bald. Don't neglect your edges. If you start to see that you are shedding and your edges are thinning out, use an oil 
and just kind of do a, a routine, a daily routine to kind of massage that oil to your edges and massage and stimulate the follicles so that your hair grows back quicker. Don't neglect it. It's just going to prolong the growth of your hair and you don't want to walk around, you know, looking bald. I know it's hard because we're already kind of self-conscious of the way we look after having baby because we have less time for ourselves. So don't neglect the hair. Make sure you're stimulating it in some way. A good oil to use would be castor oil, coconut oil, olive oil, really any oil you have, but I know one of the best oils for hair growth um, I've heard is castor oil. Don't wear styles that are hard to maintain. Don't wear styles that are gonna require you to moisturize on a daily basis or style on a daily basis. Um, instead, maybe wear something that's low maintenance, uh, like maybe a protective style, braids, twists, buns. Something that's gonna require as less maintenance as possible because you are gonna be caring for your little one or little ones and that they're gonna require a lot of your attention. Um, so in order for you not to neglect the hair, just find styles that are more manageable on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, again, don't neglect yourselves. I know this is a hard time. I know you're taking care of a whole nother being. And the first thing we do as mothers is we start to let go of ourselves and neglect the things that we enjoy doing or we wanna do. And neglect our self, our, our health, our care. We don't even eat sometimes because we're worried about taking care of these little ones. If you're taking care of yourself, it's easier to take care of someone else. We're not gonna be as tired, we're not gonna feel ugly, we're not gonna feel down. So just make it a point to get up, get dressed, um, Take care of yourself, you know? Don't neglect yourself as, as a whole, as a mother. I know it's a rough time and it takes some getting used to because your, your, your whole routine is gonna change. So you're just gonna have to manage your time a little bit better. I know that's easier said than done, but try to manage your time a little bit better. I know one thing I used to do was get up before everybody else. I started to get to know every, uh, the routines, my little one's routines, when they were gonna get up, when I knew they were gonna be hungry. So I managed my care around those times. So, with that being said, I hope this video helped someone. If you have any questions about the video, if you have any questions for me, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and I will do my best to answer your questions. If you have any ideas on what you'd like to see on my channel, let me know. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. I will see you in the next video. Bye.